All right, everyone, today I'm gonna to do a quick video showing you guys exactly how I was able to engrave uh, this lion on this steel coaster using the Laser Packer 3. So we're gonna just kind of go through the steps and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I did it. All right, so let's just get right to it. Okay, so as you can see here, I have an iPad set up. I have the Laser Packer uh, 3 set up as well. And I also have this little, um, Heat sink, you don't really need this, but I always put something down just in case so that it doesn't mark um, on the actual uh, surface of the laser. All right, so starting out, first thing you wanna do is you wanna take your, your coaster and clean it. So I'm just gonna take a towel like so and just wipe off all the fingerprints, any oil residue or anything like that that might be on the, la on the uh, coaster. And then all I have to do is just place it pretty much, you know, wherever I want it to be underneath the laser. We're going to frame it up uh, a little bit later. So the first things you want to do with your lasers, one, make sure it's connected Two, make sure that you are focused. OK, so you can go in to your uh, menu here and you can check your Bluetooth to make sure that you are connected to your laser. And then you can also go into your modes and turn on your red light. So the red light is going to just appear here on the surface, letting you know uh, your focus uh, points. You can see them all the time. OK, so we're going to just pick a graphic um, from their catalog just to make this easy. So let's find something that we like. Maybe this horse would be a good example. So here's something that we can easily um, you know, get our heads around. This is a you know pencil illustration of it. So we're going to go ahead and make this 2K just for the sake of this. And we want to set this at. Let's do. Let's see, I can't remember the size of these coasters, so let me look at it real quick. I think these are 84 millimeters. Yep. Yeah, so this is 84 millimeters. So we're just gonna make the height of this 84. I don't think it's gonna take 84, but we'll try it. No, 70 is the maximum. So let's just do 70. Let's try it the other way. So let's just go with 70. And we do done. Let's go ahead and try our preview. And we can see the preview right here on the surface. Now I'm going to rearrange, I'm gonna move the camera down a little bit so you guys can see exactly what I'm seeing. So as you can see here, we have our outline um, for our engraving. I'm just gonna turn this just a touch just so it's lined up perfectly with this. And then I wanna try to center it, maybe right about there. Okay, so that should be good. So we can just go ahead and stop our preview. Let's quit the preview. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is determine our power output. So we're gonna bring the camera back up so you guys can kind of see what's going on here as well. Let's adjust this for you guys just a little bit more. There we go. All right, so as you guys can see here, we have 100% power, 60% depth, and one pass. That's our goal is to use these settings. Now, these won't be automatic. You'll have to go in and, and customize these. So if you choose one of the presets, you're not gonna have these specific settings, but this is what we're gonna try for this steel coaster. So we're gonna go hit start. Make sure you're wearing your glasses, guys. Make sure you're wearing your orange. Make sure you're wearing your safety glasses before starting.
All right, we're gonna hit next. Okay, guys, so here we have it. Here is our horse, a horse engraved onto this uh, metal coaster. And as you can see, it is very similar to the one I did with the lion. So yes, you can engrave directly onto a metal coaster using your laser pecker three and just picking the right setting. So definitely take a look at this. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll probably be doing some more videos in the near future demonstrating some of the things that I've been able to create with these lasers. So hopefully you guys, this was informative to you. Don't forget to follow me over on Amazon, guys, because I'm live on Amazon probably seven days a week, 7 p.m. Central uh, Time, and you can ask questions about these devices, and I'm more than willing to demonstrate them as well. So definitely check these out. Let me know what you think. There we go. All right, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, peace. I'm out.